Tonight, three newly freed Americans are heading back home following a historic prisoner swap. With 24 prisoners in multiple countries involved, it is the largest exchange since the Cold War. The White House says they've been negotiating this deal for months. ABC's Perry Russom is in Washington with details. Tonight, the three American prisoners freed from Russia heading back to the U.S. New video from the Russian Defense Ministry shows part of the historic prisoner swap. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich and former Marine Paul Whelan being led to a plane in Russia. The two men then on the ground in Turkey, joined by Alsu Kermesheva in the white shirt boarding the bus. This deal would not have been made possible without our allies. Germany, Poland, Slovenia, Norway and Turkey, they all stepped up and they stood with us. President Biden at the White House today with the families of the freed prisoners as the years of agony and waiting came to a close. I spent a lot of time with the families uh, of Evan and Paul and also and most of the time as you can imagine those are tough conversations but not today. Today excuse me whew, um, today was a very good day. The White House says in the deal no Russian sanctions were lifted and no money was paid. In Russia, Kermesheva was convicted of spreading false news about the Russian army. Both Whelan and Gershkovich were convicted of espionage. All three strongly deny the allegations. Gershkovich's conviction came just two weeks ago. Whelan's twin brother, David. I didn't really allow myself to believe that it was going to happen until I saw that uh, announcement by the White House. And of course, we're overjoyed um, and uh, hope to actually see him soon. There was a permanent U.S. resident also in the swap. The White House says he is heading to Germany and his family will meet him there. He is expected to be back in the U.S. soon to meet with President Biden. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.